Making soups simple and easy. Today I'm going to show you how to make excellent creamy mustard chicken soup. We'll start by making a very good and strong broth. And to do that I'm using one large chicken. I have a 14 cups of water here, two sticks of celery, and half of onion, fine chopped, along with three leaves, three bay leaves. Now I'm going to go and get some carrots, two. And now that the chicken is cooking, I'm going to add three medium carrots. And also I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt for now, and then we're going to add a little more salt later. And we're going to let the broth simmer for probably about um, 20 minutes. Once the chicken cooks in the bottom, I'm going to churn it and cook it on the top, and then we're going to take it out and finish up our soup. There's nothing like a homemade chicken soup on a cold winter day. Chicken is cooking well. I'm going to cover it now and let it simmer for a while. We want this broth to be nice and rich. Chicken has been cooking for about 15 minutes. And now I'm going to add a half a cup of pearl rice. Here comes the fun part. We're going to make a mustard mixture. We'll combine a cup of sour cream. And this is a, um, not a low-fat sour cream, just a regular sour cream. And three eggs. About two heaping spoons of mustard. And about three heaping spoons. These are teaspoons. I'm sorry, these are tablespoons of flour all-purpose flour and a level teaspoon of black pepper. Combine it all well together and once combined set it aside. It has been cooking for over 25 minutes. It's well cooked. Now we're gonna let it cool because we're gonna use some of this meat soup. All right. And now we're gonna add our mustard mixture. And to add it we're going to bring the fire to medium-low, so it's not boiling too hard. And we're going to continue to mix as we add sour cream, eggs, and mustard. So keep mixing it really fast until you use up all this mixture. Now that it's boiling, I'm going to add a little bit of all-natural chicken base. We, did, we added a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of chicken base. This is all natural, and this is just this will enhance the flavor a little bit. Okay, here goes the chicken, and now we're gonna add a little bit of parsley. Soup is done. And here's the finishing touch: a little bit of parsley. And once the parsley goes in, we're gonna turn the soup off and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes before we serve. For more all-natural recipes, please check us on Facebook under Cooking and Kids or visit our website under www.cookingkids.info.